Hi everyone, welcome back to Land Investing Online. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to search for a parcel via owner name or parcel number. I'm also gonna show you how to use all the overlays within MapRate, including water features, wetlands, floodplain, and many more. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to save a map on MapRate and then export it to a KML on Google Earth. And now let's get over to MapRate and I'll show you how to use it. So here I'm on MapRate's dashboard. And what we're going to do first, we're going to create a new map and you can choose any state. So if you have the full plan of ID.land, you can choose any state. You can choose any county within there. Let's just go to Georgia for now and we're going to hit get started. So now I can search any county in Georgia, any parcel number in Georgia and so on, and also search by address as well. So here's the base map. So you can see there's not much information in here right now, but we need to search for a parcel. And like I said, first, we're going to search for a parcel via owner name. So you're going to go up to the address bar at the top and you're going to hit the arrow and you can search by address too. I'm not going to show that in this video. You're going to go down to parcel. So we're going to search by parcel and you're going to go to owner name. Let's just choose Crawford County, Georgia. It's right in the middle of Georgia. We're going to choose Crawford County and then owner name. Let's just type Smith and we'll choose this top one. And you can see it's going to pull up a parcel within here. It's actually pulling up two. So this parcel is actually split by the road. This is a very cool situation. This parcel is one parcel, but it's actually split by the road. And we can see this. So what we're going to do, so this is pulling up the parcel. And now I'm going to show you how to actually search by parcel number. So if you have a parcel number from the county GIS or from some other source, you can also search by parcel number instead of searching by the owner name. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to parcel. You're going to search by ID. And then you're going to hit Crawford as well. Let's search for this one down here so you can see how this works. And you can see the parcel number here. I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it in here. Again, you're not going to get the parcel number typically from MapRite. You're going to get it from some other source, like a county GIS, something like that. And then I'm going to hit go. So this is going to pull this up and then you're going to hit convert to mapped feature and you're going to hit save. So now let's get into the overlays. Like I talked about, we're going to show you how to search a parcel. We just did that. Now let's get into the features within MapRite. So on here, you can see the base map. So right now I'm on MB satellite. You can see hex aerial, and these are gonna all give you different satellite pictures. This is straight from Google Earth. And then you can see infrared, if you can see water with this really well. So these are all very valuable. We're not gonna get too deep into any of these. These are all pulled from different sources and brought into here. But like I said, let's get into the overlay feature. Let's go back and let's just do, we'll do hex aerial. We'll keep it on there for now. So if I just hit all layers on for the overlays, there's obviously an overwhelming amount of data within here. I'm going to show you how we evaluate land on here instead of going into every single overlay within MapRite. So let's go into the important ones. The first important one as I go down on here is city limits. This is very cool. It's going to show you the city limits. A lot of times when you're buying land, if you're in city limits, there's going to be more restrictions than if you're outside of city limits and just in county limits. So you can see all of here, this is all of Macon, Georgia city limits. We're outside of here. We're not within a city limits. You can see these little small cities. These a lot of times are going to have restrictions as well. So you can see just from there that you're outside of city limits. The next one, as I go down our list, that's very important is contour lines. And with contour lines, you can see the slope. So this is the feet above sea level. So you can see 530, 540, 520. So this has a little bit of slope from left to right if you're facing the parcel from the road, but not too much. Going from there, we're gonna go to floodplain. You can see there's no floodplain in here. If I scroll out, you'll be able to see some areas of the county where there are floodplain. No concerns at all here. Then we're gonna go over our other water features. So you have floodplain and then you have water features, which is creeks, lakes, ponds, stuff like that will be shown on here. You can see a pond up here. You can see some small little creeks. And typically within MapRite, the creeks that are more substantial are the ones without the dotted lines. So a lot of times these are just little, little waterways, if anything. But these ones with the solid lines are much more defined. They're legitimate creeks more times than not. And then we're going to go into wetlands. So wetlands is different than floodplain. Wetlands is typically standing water within there. You typically don't want land with wetlands, especially if it's 100% wetlands. That is not the most ideal land to buy. So those are all of our water features. And then a couple more that we use from time to time. So you have the soil overlay here. 
And these are gonna be different soil types. I'm by no means a soil expert, but if you look up these different soil types online, you can find some data within there. MapRite pulls all this data from outside sources to bring this into their software. And then finally, the last one I use is county lines. I like seeing this because a lot of the work we do is by county. So when you do county lines, you can see like where in the county this is in reference to the other county, Bibb County, you can see right here. And then we're in Crawford County up here. So really those are the main overlays we're gonna use within MapRite. It's an extremely powerful software for helping you analyzing not just land deals, but house deals as well. And you can play through here and see so many other things. They do have a great seven day free trial currently. So what we're gonna do next is save it and then get it on a KML. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit save as here in the bottom. And I'm just gonna type in 0000, and then YouTube video. Georgia, all this, you can you can put a lot more information in here if you wanna save like this, get myself signed back in, and we'll be able to find it on here. So I'm just gonna control F YouTube, and we can see it right here. So you can see that this deal right now is saved within ID.land, and what you can do from here, this is how we get it on Google Earth. You're gonna hit download KML. So you're gonna hit download KML, and then you're gonna have a little download file. Hopefully you have Google Earth installed. If you don't, make sure you have Google Earth installed before this. And then you're gonna hit the uh, file and it should pull up Google Earth. So now you can see Google Earth is pulled up. It has the boundary lines of the three parcels which we had as boundary lines on MapRite and these directly pull over. You can scroll out on Google Earth, see what's going on. Google Earth can also give you street view. So if you wanted to get on street view and see the parcel, not everywhere in the country you can do this, but I've uh, pulled my little person here and drop him. I can't get all the way to my parcel. You can only go where the blue lines are. So if you went here, you could see the quality of this road for sure that we're buying our land on. And you can see this is a pretty solid road here. You see a nice house here. Obviously you can't get down here on Google Earth, but that is extremely valuable. To conclude, if you guys are in land investing, in real estate investing, MapRite ID.land is an extremely powerful tool to allow you to analyze deals. If you guys haven't, take a look. There's a seven day free trial. I'll link it in the description below. Other than that, if you guys have any other video suggestions for videos like this to help educate you guys on land investing, anything around land investing, please put them in the comments below. Other than that, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.